Skin cancer in general is extremely common. At Stanford, we're fortunate to have an excellent melanoma program, excellent. There's a little bit of scale here. And so our melanoma patients receive personalized, highly specialized care. We want to catch the precancers and treat them as soon as we can. If a person comes in with just a few discrete precancers, sometimes we use liquid nitrogen to freeze the individual spots. When there are more than a few precancers and they're not as well defined, we might use topical field treatment. Some of our treatments include topical chemotherapy. Another one is photodynamic therapy or PDT. In this method, a liquid is painted onto a patient's skin and allowed to incubate, followed by an illumination with a blue light. It's one treatment in which we can sometimes treat large areas of skin in one swoop. The next step up would be what we call chemo wraps. This is particularly good for hands, arms, and legs that have sustained a lot of sun damage and have a lot of precancers or early cancers. From there, we sometimes consider using an oral vitamin A derivative. It has been shown to decrease the number of precancers and possibly halt or slow down skin cancer development. So I would do this one. Mm -hmm. We tend to use a technique called Mohs that allows one to visually inspect the surgical margins while a patient waits. The surgeons are able to excise the tissue, inspect the margins, confirm that they have clear margins, and only when the margins are clear do they perform the closure. So this is really a technique that's conserving of healthy tissue, and it has excellent cure rates as well. If we have very large excisions, moving up from that, sometimes we move into joint ventures between our Mohs derm surgeons and our head and neck surgeons. We also have a team of dermatologists with a particular interest in advanced BCCs, or basal cell carcinomas. One of the great things about Stanford Healthcare is that we have physician scientists who do see patients in clinic and who also spend a significant amount of their time doing research, and our group continues to push the boundaries on what can be done to treat advanced cases of BCC. We have a newly developed high-risk non-melanoma tumor board, and this group meets once a month to discuss some of our most challenging cases and make sure that a patient's care is really coordinated. The wonderful thing about skin cancer is that it is largely preventable. It's preventable if we wear sunscreen and we're careful about how we spend our time outdoors. And it's very manageable if it is treated early.